don't take unnecessary investment risk that may deplete your retirement nest egg, your retirement asset. Okay? Just now, I will say already, if you are retiree and if you were to uh, make an investment mistake that lost money, the impact is very damaging because you've got no time to recover it back. So I would suggest these six investment characteristics that you should avoid at all costs. Number one, scam. Huh? So people call you, people email you, suggest to you some investment proposal, some scheme from Nigeria, from Hong Kong, from Philippines. Don't entertain them. Don't believe them. Just put down the phone. Because when you are not careful, you go into debt, your money will be surely scammed. Okay? So you have to think about it because the intention of this provider from day one is to con you. So don't step very careful. Number two, avoid those abnormally high return promise investment. Some investment, uh, they know that to attract you, okay? they, and they know, they know that you have a big time, this inflation concern. So they will promise high return to attract you. And this return is abnormal return. Why? For example, if you all are like old enough <laughs> like me, then you, you may have heard huh, or seen or invested into an investment called Geneva Gold, where they promise 3% return, not a year, 3% return a month, a year, you can expect a 36% return. So, wow, this return is too good to be true. So, when the return is too good to be true, I can tell you it's not true. So, as a retiree, you cannot afford to play this game. This avoid it. Okay? Even though you may be affected from it. Third, avoid leverage investment. Okay? When you invest in share, you know, you can invest in share, okay? Avoid margin financing. Okay? When you invest in ETF, avoid those ETF that give you like leverage, uh, leverage two times, leverage three times. Avoid that because the moment you make the wrong decision, the losses will be very huge. Okay, this is not for you. Okay, number four, avoid unregulated investment. Okay, some unregulated some investment platform like say for example can quote like eToro, like Trump FX, you know that people trade uh, share trade ETF trade a lot of things. Yeah. They look so established. They look like they got all the technology. They look like they got the whole team, good team of people to support. But guess what? This company are listed by Security Commission. You no, know, at that uh, company and the investment company that you should be warned not to do that because they are not regulated by Security Commission Malaysia. Should something go wrong with that platform? with your money at that platform, there's nothing you can expect the regulator in Malaysia to protect you. So be warned, huh? they are not regulated in the first place. Okay? As a retiree, you cannot afford to take the risk. Okay? Number five, avoid regulated but unclear investment. Some of you may wonder, hey, Mr. Yap, I thought you are a regulated professional and how come you are even advising me to avoid regulated investment. Yes, because some regulated investment can be quite risky as well. Like for example, in the market right now, there has got about quite a number of like cash trusts offering by different trustee companies. Huh? So, so of course, as a trust, as a trust fund, this money can avoid probate, can avoid all this uh, estate administration process. But all this, some of these cash trusts also promise that uh, you can get maybe up to 8% return a year. You can get up to 10% return. But the question is, a lot of investors, so even for financial planners, is how do these trustee invest the money or put the money for them to enable them to give you 8% return? So when this modus operandi, uh, the business process, the investment strategy, 
your investment asset underlying investment is not clear, stay away, stay away, stay away. No? because chances are the money, your money may be depleted. Okay, so number six, avoid regulated. Oh, so another regulated investment, Mr. Yap, that you asked me to avoid. Yes, there are regulated investment which give you very clear transparency, sharing with you where do they invest, give you every details. Okay, but it could be quite risky as well. For example, P2P, peer to peer financing. Okay. Uh, for other investors who are not retiree, maybe they have a risk appetite, maybe they got uh, some deep pocket, so they can invest into P2P financing. But if you are a retiree, your retirement asset, whether it's 2 million, 3 million, I will consider limited. So it is very dangerous for you to put maybe half a million, 300,000 know, into such a scheme. Guess why? P2P in Malaysia, when they take the money from you, do you know where, where do they put this money to? They will take the money from you and put to the hand of the small and medium enterprise owner. Of course, this small and medium enterprise owner is willing to pay a relatively high interest rate because they can't get financing elsewhere. Okay? But ask yourself, are you comfortable to put your hard-earned retirement asset into the hand of a struggling small and medium business owner? I don't know about you. I definitely would not put my hard-earned money into these people's hand. Okay? Despite the fact that it is properly regulated. Okay? So any of this investment that I mentioned just now could easily lose you high percentage of loss or totally deplete your capital totally gone wipe up again so when this happened the damage to your retirement asset is just too serious if money is important to you please remember to subscribe to my channel